Welcome to Ravens Over. Please subscribe to my channel or send the notification bell. Like this video. Please share. Always a mess. Y'all, this is me trying to get myself together to do a video. This one that y'all know I cannot stand put makeup I don't like putting makeup on my face. It is like the most difficult task. And... Mm. This is the one thing I don't like. So, of course, you know I like pink lipstick and stuff like that. Thinking... Okay, here we go again. Another video. I gotta take the clothes off mm -hmm. and put them back in the bag. And I'm telling you, I'll be wanting to do this. Yeah, I want to talk to y'all about. But, um, make sure everything is fixed. Because you what know they're going to be watching. Mm -hmm. What we got to Make do? sure the light is good. To remain positive in this world. Mm -hmm. that's Get myself negative. together. Okay. Oh. Yet. Let's go. Let me do the video. I created this channel for people with different Trenton support those to support you. There's a PayPal on top. People murder. There are a lot of times people can't send in the truth, but you find one that does support them. Make Allies. sure they do not fall within a, a smart community as not being in existence. And you know Music. that there are hard to find people that create a channel that cater to people who are different and stand in the truth. Vision and the man. allies sit back and say, well, I have no problem with other people. PayPal. Let me just stand in here and learn to support and learn. those no judgment who support zone. you. I love you. Stand in truth. Sure, people, it is the day of another day of another day that we call Friday. Anybody been said what's going people? Hopefully everybody's doing everything as far as being safe. In this world, we're living in the knocking down doors, making your dreams come true, and practicing ignore. Y'all will never understand. This is one thing I don't like about cameras and stuff. Sometimes it goes very bad and so wrong. Oh, I just did the whole video. Now I gotta do the whole video all over again. I just wanted to upload it real quick because I wanted to get over with real fast. And the video was blurry. Okay, here we go. I want to talk to you about living your life and being in your truth and not allow other people to dictate what makes you happy. One thing I realized these last couple of months, well not last couple of months, last couple of weeks, is that you are in charge of who makes you happy and you're in charge and what you allow around you as far as the energy that brings to you. Now what I'm trying to tell you is this is that a lot of times people, we've grown up as far as children, grown up being um, kids to parents and we've been taught by our parents that we need to care about what other people think and as adults we haven't canceled those ideas and we brought them on within us and it's not been a positive influence as far as our life that's why I think anxiety and all this extra stuff takes place because we were taught to care about what other people think about us and this is the problem I have with a lot of people when it comes down to me because Raven like um like Bubbles said Raven walks to the beat of her own drum which is true and that means you're a little more like a leader and when you're a leader you don't do the things like everybody else do. And if you're a two-spirit woman or two-spirit man or a person that don't feel as though everybody do things right, that makes you a leader because you don't go along to get along. You stand in your truth and you make things happen for you. That means you're a leader, which by the fact that being a leader is going to be compromised and attacked. So you have to watch the people with the energy that you allow to come around you because a lot of times your energy being so positive, being so strong, it brings somebody around you that start doing the name people. The old oh, girl, you can't do that or you can't do that. They start putting these negative influence in your head and if they do a good enough job on you, once they leave, now you're seeing the same things they see about you. You know, and it's so sad because like I was telling men on the DL, the sneaking and ducking and diving, don't nobody know what they like or into. Are you really going to let your whole life go this way? Are you really, really willing to let your whole life go and you hid that you could actually be happy, find somebody, move forward, make money, make your money printed, and have build the whole kingdom off of happiness that you're willing to hide and sit in a place and pick people that you're really not attracted to. You treat them bad because you can't live in your truth and you're making everybody else pay for what you couldn't do. Now I know a lot of times people can't get there the right way and sometimes um, a lot of times we've been broken but the thing about it is if you're broken remember you can be fixed. Nothing is set in stone where you have to stay this way for the rest of your life. Me myself it takes some time to get there and stuff but you'll get there. This is how I see it. 
I'm going to die one day. Valar. Don't let you be on your deathbed saying, if I could do it all over again, I would do it totally different. Because you let people get in your head. Don't let it get that far. If anything goes against your grain or what you want, you get that thing in your stomach, baby. That means you choose you. You may fall down, you may fail, you may think may not go out exactly the way you want, but it's your way. As long as you're not hurting nobody or killing nobody, it's going your way. And the thing about it within me, am I perfect? Absolutely not. Raven falls down more than most. And I tell you that all the time. I have to be reintroduced to myself. I fall down a lot. That means when I say this, that means that Raven fell at things I try to do. I fell a lot. And I see myself fail, but it don't stop me. Nothing beats a failure but a failure that never tried. I keep trying. I may fall. I may trip. I may, things may never go. Things may go. I don't know. But the fact of the matter is that I tried. If I was successful or not successful, I tried. But at the end of the day, I would rather try and fail than to never try to all the wonder if I could have, if in this, I did it. I understand a lot of times people can't get there the best way you can, but at the end of the day, remember one thing, you can always work on yourself. If you always have negative thoughts within yourself, ask yourself, who put them there? Have people got in your head you never realized that now your vision about you is coming from them and not actually your vision? Before, back in the day, before I was uh, got to where I'm at now, this new raven versus the old raven, the old raven was basically like, um, I just took things with a grain of salt and people said a lot of mean things to me, people would come for me. People would attack me, and I'd be like, you know what, I'm not going to do with this. I walk away. The fact of the matter that I walk away, a lot of times people feel as though you're a punk, or I can do anything to you, because you're not going to do nothing to me. But then when you show up, you're the aggressor, you're the one that's always angry, because now you showed up a different way than they wanted. They want to do all this to you, and you know, you check them. And I say check them, I mean you. You went to work on their body. And at the end of the day, and I, am I saying violence is wrong? Well, <laughs> sometimes you got to check a bitch's chin. It is what it is. But, um, you know, I don't get so violent. But at the end of the day, if you're like a person like me that have anger issues, we know that we have to walk away. We know that they may be saying things to us and we may not like it. We have to walk away. And when I say this, I'm not talking like I'm this tough person or I think I could be this body. No, absolutely not. But I know. The ones like me, y'all already know, when we get mad, we go to 10. And they want to do all this talking, and we already just can't even, the conference meeting is closed. Now it's time for recess. I'm about to beat you, you know. And then we're not going to say this to you. We already hit you. And you, anyway. So if you're that kind of person like me, you have anger issues, that means you have to walk away to be a bigger person. Sure, you may be called out your name, and that's fine. Sticks and stones where you break my bones. <laughs> it's not funny. But it is what it is. Do I get there all the time? Absolutely not. I say this thing because I don't want nothing to happen to you. I've been in a lot of fights and stuff and you know, um I had a lot of I had a lot of reserved anger because of a lot of my past and y'all been on my channel, you watch a lot what I've been through. You watch people betray me, you watch people come after me, you watch and I understand I don't like it, but who am I to stop somebody from trying to do something to hurt me? But the one thing I want you to remember today as a Friday, I want you to choose you. I want you to find out what makes you happy. If you gotta step away from people to date yourself to find out what's gonna build you up to make you more happy, do it. Do it. You know, and it's the thing about it within life and stuff, you know. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm changing. I may be changing for the worse. I'm going to need y'all to work for me. I may be changing for the worse. Because at the end of the day, I've been suppressed a lot of anger. And like I said, the mother just passed away. And things she said to me, I never believed her. And she told me. And I want to tell you, you know what? I wish she'd have told me how she felt about me. I would have left her alone. She told me. I just didn't believe her. Even when she cried and told me how much she hated me, I didn't believe her. But I believe her now. So now when people tell me things, I believe them. It took her death to make me really start listening to people when they say things to me. I didn't believe people. I always believe in second chances, people and their feelings, their emotions. So I don't really take it seriously, but they don't believe me in Raven. You know, they're just going through something on a bad day. But now when they say something to me, I'm listening. I'm listening. And it may come from people I really truly love, but at the end of the day, if it's coming from you I truly love, I shouldn't be having this conversation. This shouldn't be relevant to you. 
But if you have those things for me, as far as mouths and saying mean things to me, I have to hear you out and respect you and gratefully bow away. You dead mean me. I'm not going to keep contacting you. I ask you to give me my respect. If it's so much of a problem for you, I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to fight with you. I'm going to remove myself from you. Then when you decide to call me, you go into voicemail. I don't understand. We won't return my call. If you do a little analyzing and think about why I'm not returning your calls, you'll think about what you did. If I tell you something a thousand times about that name and you refuse to listen to what I'm saying, at this point, it's no longer for me to try to knock it in your head to respect me because those things are not available for your tools to my tools. So at the end of the day, I will leave you alone. And I get people call me all the time and stuff. And I just bow out gratefully. I'm not going to live my whole life arguing with people and trying to get people to accept me. I have to realize why am I making myself available to be hurt. I have to think about myself. Why are you making yourself available to be hurt, Raven? Why are you making yourself available to hear this information? And I want you to take those tools too. If a person is hurting you, ask yourself, why are you making yourself available to hear this? Why are you making yourself available? What makes them so greater that you feel as though you need to get this information for them that's not going to feed your soul? Why are you sitting there? That's the question you ask yourself. And then when you fixate yourself that, you give them that one little goodbye, and you walk on out the door. Honey, block, let the phone, let the world voicemail, leave. Choose you. Choose you to be happy. Do not let somebody else dictate what makes you happy. So as I try to spread a little positivity, I want to take it down to you when it comes to the point of me taking all of this makeup off my face and this is what I go through the next That's level. Right. So you choose you. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. And you're ready now. Have a blessed and safe weekend. Because I'm going to fix me some hot pockets. And just lay low. Very low. Have a safe weekend. And remember, choose you to be happy. It's not up to anybody for debating what makes you happy. Choose you. Have a Don't go weekend. yet. And thank you I gotta take history. the makeup off. At the top of this Instagram button, Here's the you next follow level. me, i back. Let you I love you and thank you for watching. Kiss three. So you already know the Noxima. Take the stuff off my face. As you can see, I'm a little exhausted. But now I'm going to take the makeup off and I'm going to show you about me taking mm. the makeup off of my face. And here we go. Noxema, which you already know mm -hmm. I always say use. This is the one thing I don't like. But you know. Now I apply the Noxema on my face. I try to rub it in to get all of the makeup off of my face. Get Which is always a problem with me. And I keep rubbing and looking and rubbing and looking. And then... Mm -hmm. And remember, Noxima usually cleans all the dark spots out of your skin as well. Which I want to share with you as well. If you've been on my live, you already know this is what I use. Even my live, I use it to wear makeup at all. I want to show you all what Noxima does for your skin and stuff. You know, this is like after the fact of doing so and much makeup and stuff. Actually you helps you clear, keep your skin clear and stuff. So, I use, um, obviously. See the makeup still above my eyes and stuff. Now what I use is, I use ivory soap. And I'm using water. Now remind you, I'm holding the camera with my hand, so you know when you're holding the camera using one hand, stuff off my skin. you can't really clean so the way you want. Like, you know, the and also stuff. soap getting your eyes. That's why I use ivory more. soap because if it's ivory soap getting your eyes, it still won't stain a lot. Thick and stuff. I feel like I've been having a mess. So um, I use that to clean the um makeup off my skin. On my skin. And this is what I 
what I do with Yeah, I'm still trying to take it off. Go and when you wiping that soap, getting your eyes, it's gonna burn me a little bit, but it's soap, it don't, don't burn a lot. Soap. As you see, I'm still wiping. But remind you, I'm still holding the camera. Got, got a little clean. soap well, on my eyes. I my skin. And I still got a little black thing on my thing, but trust me, I'm gonna walk over and get the towel and just wipe it off. Now you see why. <laughs> Why I don't like my makeup? <laughs> so now I go go to the towel. <laughs> and I gotta get on my skin. Eyes a little red, but it'll clear up. Ivory soap is, you know. I take a little Noxema and I put on my skin like this. I rub it in because it's like a moisturizer and what it do is like if you got dead skin or you shave and you got really bad skin it'll take all the dark spots off you know so and that's it and it is what it is have a blessed and safe day so you see all I go through, put all this makeup on, and that's all the go to take it all off. And remember, I thought if the video was finished around 4, I'm just finished the video at 9 14, so the internet went down. These are the mishaps. Comment below, share the video, and again, at the top there's an Instagram button. You follow me, I'll follow you back. Let you I love you, and thank you for watching. Kiss the ring.